the Holy Ghost says if any person will learn how to walk with me I will make them younger the Holy Ghost is God in the earth today and you walk with him by saying words my name is Andrew Hemstrong. Thank you for joining heaven. us. If this is Jesus your first time here, right. make sure you subscribe. If this isn't your first time here and these messages are blessing you, then consider becoming a partner with us. 1 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 1. Now, when's that? Now, now concerning spiritual gifts, brethren, I would not have you ignorant and you know now concerning spiritual things you see how that word there is in italics it's just to help us to understand something he's talking about but he's he's basically talking about things pertaining to the spirit yes. say things, things. Pertaining, pertaining to the spirit, to the spirit. now i am going to talk to you tonight about things pertaining to the spirit and what spirit am I talking about? Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost, the Holy Spirit. These things, listen, these things that I'm talking about will pertain to Him. Mm -hmm. And this, listen, this is a big deal to Him. Say it's a big deal. It's, a big deal. it's not a small deal it's not a side issue which a lot of people would treat it as and you'll know as we go on here well it's so much of a side issue you might not have even heard about it before ah how could this be There's a lot of things about the holy ghost that you are ignorant of mm -hmm. is it possible that we can be ignorant of something yes. pertaining to the holy ghost mm -hmm. first corinthians chapter 12 verse 1 brethren mm -hmm. ignorant mm -hmm. who is this written to ignorant brethren yeah. right mm -hmm. years ago in praying about a particular ailment that was bothering me in my physical body the holy ghost said to me you don't need healing you need youth renewal in that particular area and I began preaching on youth renewal. Do you remember this? You were around, yes. mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And I'd never heard that before. That some people don't need healing. Listen, some people don't need healing. They need their youth renewed in that area, yeah. which takes care of the healing. Mm -hmm. Are you here? Yes. Well, I've preached on this since that time that you need to have youth renewal working in your life mm -hmm. say I need to have, need to have youth, renewal youth renewal working in my life, working in my life. that means it's working for you God the Holy Ghost who does this mm -hmm. that's another part of the message he does this I can take you through many scriptures that say that mm -hmm. but we're going to go farther into this you go farther into it you get more understanding you get more revelation and you experience more of it yes. you need to have youth renewal working in your life if you are going to fulfill everything god has for you mm -hmm. get that straight remember abraham and sarah you remember them right mm -hmm. you read about them mm -hmm. they could not have fulfilled what god called them to fulfill without their youth being renewed it was an integral part of what they had to do abraham and sarah father of our faith mm -hmm. are you here we're in that faith yes. say we're in, that faith. we're in that faith what faith the faith that requires your youth to be renewed if you are going to fulfill what you're called to fulfill yes. don't get mad at me we are of that faith psalms 103 verses 1 through 5 says forget not all his benefits and one of those benefits includes youth renewal yes. don't forget it 
most of the church can't forget it because they never knew about it never was preached to them that this is part of the benefits of walking with god well i'm telling you it is part of the benefits of walking with god knowing god the holy ghost it's something he does and it's a big deal to him mm -hmm. i'm expecting you to have grasp those messages already and that's where you are right now yes. as someone who believes and knows that it is important for them to walk in youth renewal if I'm going to fulfill what God's called me to fulfill mm -hmm. does this make sense yes. that's you mm -hmm. say that's me. that's me say I get it, I get it. you must have youth renewal working in your life Psalms chapter 107 and verse 20 he sent his word and healed them what did he send to heal them his word his word how do you send a word by saying it text speaking you say it you speak it yes god said his word and his said word healed them mm -hmm. say that god said god said his word his word and his said word, his said word healed them, healed them. So there must be something in that word that caused them to be healed he sent his word and healed them and delivered them from their destructions so not only did that word and what was ever whatever was in that word heal them it also delivered them from their destructions mm -hmm. youth renewal is not just healing hold on because I want to get you somewhere what I'm talking about tonight is greater than healing say it's greater than healing, it's greater than healing. and frankly it's greater than youth renewal it is involved it does renew your youth but it's greater than that do you want to hear this yes. could it be that you are believing for too little our God is too little he doesn't do that mm -hmm. or he doesn't want to take us there I'm telling you God wants to take you there where is there it's where he's at mm -hmm. the Holy Ghost he is God in the earth today this is who you're walking with the more we know about him the more we will be walking in yes. and right now it's too little so get this straight when you are saying I call my youth renewed mm -hmm. the more you walk with God the Holy Ghost the more you know about him you know the more you know who he is mm -hmm. the more the meaning of that will change when you call your youth renewed does this make sense yes. I'm telling you I've been calling my youth renewed and the meaning of that string of words I call my youth renewed has completely changed where I used to think oh that will just make me like I was when I was younger it's completely different than that you're entering into his youth renewal can you understand that that it changes why does it change because you're knowing him in a changed way let's look at who he is you understand youth renewal comes from him right mm -hmm. and if it's coming from him it would be his james chapter 1 verse 17 every good gift and every perfect gift say perfect gift, perfect gift. is from above and comes down from the father of lights with whom is no variableness neither shadow of turning who is the perfect gift that came down from the father of lights who is with us this very day the holy ghost, the holy ghost. he is a person here he is called perfect say he's called perfect, he's perfect. he the holy ghost is perfect and then it says uh, there's no shadow of turning so when he got it down here he didn't start turning around to be something else he's still perfect yes. Amen. are you here yes. this is who we're walking with mm -hmm. psalms 1830 says his way is perfect 
he's the Holy Ghost he is perfect his way is perfect and his word is perfect did you get this I mean I could go on with other scriptures I'm trying to build up you up to something here he is perfect his way is perfect his word is perfect yes. I think most people be like, oh yeah okay huh. he is not only perfect he is eternal the Spirit God was in the beginning and then he's all the way in the end and Jesus is saying hear what the Spirit is saying to the church so we've got thousands of years however you add it up thousands of years from the beginning to the book of Revelation and it doesn't seem to me that the Holy Ghost got any older do you know why he is eternal Hebrews chapter 9 and verse 14 how much more shall the blood of Christ who through the eternal spirit offered himself without spot to God purge your conscience from dead works to serve the living God we know the Holy Ghost is the living God it's one of his names but one of his other names is right there in this verse who through the eternal spirit yeah. say the eternal spirit. the eternal spirit one of the names of the Holy Ghost is the eternal spirit which means he's eternal yes. so get this mm -hmm. if he is perfect and he is eternal the words that he speaks out his mouth are perfect and they are eternal they contain perfection they contain eternity in them his words spoken those are the things he says are you getting this this, this is this is gonna matter this is really what I'm trying to get you up to Holy Ghost God near today is an eternal spirit mm -hmm. he is a perfect spirit the words he says are not somehow not perfect or not eternal they carry eternal and perfection power in them because they come from him mm -hmm. they're the things he says yes. say the things, the things he, he says. says the things he says would be perfect and eternal mm -hmm. are you here yes. well he would say to you I am eternal my word is eternal it has an eternal effect on your physical body say it has, it has an, eternal an eternal effect on my physical body, my physical body. we would call that youth renewal but he's really quickening you according to the eternal life that's in that word mm -hmm. and that's more important and better say better, yes. better than just youth renewal yes. youth renewal is not just the turning back of time in your physical body but the quickening of every cell the exposing and acclimation of every cell of your body to the eternal life of God which is greater than just going back in time to a younger time because you could have been at a younger time not quickened with the eternal life of God that's in his word does this make sense yes. think heaven how is it in heaven yes. no sickness no disease and whatever age you are it's eternal that's what he's doing we would call it youth renewal if we're if we're up in age because it seems to set us backward but really we're being reset to heaven not necessarily a specific age this is what I'm trying to get over to you everlasting life is not an age it's something you are quickened to because you might not have been walking in that 20 years ago you might not have been walking in that 30 years ago but you can walk in it now will it have an effect on your physical body will it renew your youth absolutely mm -hmm. but
but this is better are you seeing this yes. the Holy Ghost says if any person will learn how to walk with me I will make them younger he says I am the Lord of time you can understand that he's eternal he's the Lord of time you start walking with him what happens to you you enter into that which is of him mm -hmm. and you get your body reset by the Lord of time you can qualify it as youth renewal but this is better eternal life you've heard of that right it's a thing it's a substance it's something he has it's something that operates in heaven all the time it is something that he lives on and is part of him eternal healing eternal health eternal youth renewal it's not a one-time thing his life is in his word you see how why we started out that way he is perfect he is eternal he speaks these things he delivers them he sends his word and it heals them and delivers them let's read that again Psalms 107 verse 20 he you know who we're talking about right mm -hmm. Holy Ghost the perfect God the eternal God the Lord of time he is in the earth yes. he sent his word and healed them and delivered them from their destructions he sent his eternal perfect word and eternal perfect healed them mm -hmm. and eternal perfect delivered them from their destructions you see one of the devil's big tricks and big strategies is just to run the game out mm -hmm. or to simply simply wear you out well that's not happening we're not going to wear out we're quickened by the living god he delivered them from their destructions one of man's greatest destructions is the fact that he's subject to time and time wear say time wear. time wear things wear out over time mm -hmm. right they break down over time scientists would say that every seven years especially as a young person every cell of your body is renewed and replaced with another cell mm -hmm. it's happening all the time right but after seven years almost every cell in your body is completely new mm -hmm. right over time when you get older that doesn't take place as much and eventually stops mm -hmm. because you can see that if that never stopped what would happen to the person they would live forever mm -hmm. which was the plan from the beginning mm -hmm. but man sinned he fell mm -hmm. and then death came in he sent his word and healed them and delivered them from their destructions one of the main destructions that he delivers you from are you here yes. is time wear mm -hmm. remember the children of Israel the shoes and their clothes yes. 40 years no time wear did God heal their shoes and their it wasn't healing it was something else say it was something else. it was something else there was zero time wear not necessarily healing so if we look at some of these words i like to do this he sent his word and healed them and delivered them delivered literally means to slip away they use the illustration as if someone were grabbing someone by the hair and they got away mm -hmm. they slipped away you were grabbed by the hair to be destroyed and he delivered you you slipped away you got away from time say i got away, I got away. from time. time are you here this is better than healing mm -hmm. this isn't necessarily youth renewal it's akin to youth renewal but it's better you get a you slip away from time 
it stops having an effect on you are you here yes. he sent his word and healed them and delivered them from their destructions the word destruction literally or figuratively being in a pit falling into a pit or you could say a trap it was a trap you fell into there's a time trap that we all fell into do you remember the fall adam and eve they yeah. fell mm -hmm. and dying they shall die that's when the death process began happening and it took a period of time right yep. he sent his word and healed them and delivered them from this this is a big deal to him he's the living god he's full and operates in everlasting life what does this everlasting life do that mm -hmm. he sent his word to do that and he put all of this in his word he spoke it in his word and you can have it or you don't have to have it you can be all judgy and in disbelief if you want you're too late for me i've seen it in there i've found it in there he put these things in his word for you to find and then to live in and be delivered by is time a destruction for most people mm -hmm. he sent his word and delivered you from it does that mean you're not gonna die no it just means that time is not gonna affect you the way it affects other people are you here yeah. say time does not affect me, time does not affect me. the way it affects, other people. way it affects other people are you starting to see this you walk with the time Lord what does that make you a little time Lord yeah. well how much is this message worth to you Whether you like it or not you're in a time trap he you literally used those words to deliver you from it is there everlasting life in his word yes when you begin to find it it should make you happy you get a smile on your face because you see that you are not bound like everybody else well i have found that in every verse of scripture there he is looking right back out at me he's eternal he's perfect he sent that word what is that word going to do to me what he said are you here yes. well i don't believe that i don't care i do believe it mm -hmm. and it affects me in fact i say and speak in agreement i say his eternal perfect word and his eternal perfect word heals me and delivers me his eternal perfect word resets every cell of my physical body you can't say that and be consistent about it without him renewing your youth which is one of his benefits That's right. and healing you every cell of my body is reset to eternity you know you're designed for that right yes. that's what you're designed for but we fell into a trap of destruction but you've been redeemed you've been delivered and now you walk with the holy ghost who is the living god who is the living time lord and he quickens you according to his word say quickens me according to his word what is his word his word is eternal his word is perfect he quickens you that's why i say how much do you want it is he limiting you to how much you can have no he already sent it every cell of my body responds to and is reset to eternity by the spoken word of god now this might help you and i've said it before but think about heaven how how will you be in heaven right mm -hmm. everybody up there's most of the people up there are really old mm -hmm. 
right really old like I mean, some of them will be thousands of years old now how what do they look like well they hand you a walker when you get to the door right hand you a walker come through the pearly gates people are yelling at him get through hurry up I'm trying to get in is that how it is no. no same holy ghost same word of god was sent same word of god is available to us same power same perfection same eternity in those words quickening your physical body so i say when you're saying his word say when i'm saying his word picture every cell of your body being quickened according to that are you here what if we never preach on youth renewal what happens well nothing yeah. how much you got of that in the church well nothing yeah. right mm -hmm. people look at you like you got two heads when you say i believe god for youth renewal he quickens every cell of my body according to the perfection and the eternity that's already in his word mm -hmm. How do you know i found it i found it proverbs chapter 4 verse 20 my son attend to my words incline thine ear unto my sayings right attend to them incline your ear how do you incline your ear to a word that's just written down you have to speak it incline your ear to my sayings verse 22 for they are life to them that find them and health to all their flesh they are what are his said words are life what kind of life do you suppose that is eternal life everlasting life his said words are everlasting life to those that find them and health or healing in my margin it says medicine but you can put youth renewal in there mm -hmm. their health healing medicine full restoration and youth renewal to all their flesh what is his spoken words well i have found his spoken word has eternal life in it has perfection in it and it is that to all of my flesh you don't really believe this brother i can't tell you how much i believe it you know how i got here by saying his word and finding it his said words are life to those that find them who finds them those who say them and when you say them you start to find them and what do you suppose you're going to find inside those words but the holy ghost and his eternal life romans chapter 8 and then verse 11 but if the spirit of him that raised jesus from the dead who is that the holy ghost is the one who raised jesus from the dead and he goes on to say if he dwells in you mm -hmm. where does he dwell in, me. in you he that raised up christ from the dead shall also quicken or make alive your mortal body or your physical body by his spirit that dwells in you How old's Jesus now? Is he pretty old and rickety? Yeah. The same spirit that raised Jesus from the dead, he's still quickened. He's still alive. He is walking in eternal life. This is saying that that same spirit will do the same thing to your mortal body. And that mortal body doesn't mean dead body. Right. That mortal body means living body. He's going to do the same thing thing same quickening power that jesus lives in to your physical body right now how does he do it the way he does all things by speaking he sent his word and healed and delivered you did you have to say it 
and when you say it let those words begin to transform you into the thing that those words are saying life healing youth renewal and eternal perfection shall be yours as you continue to say his word and let them transform you into the words that were said thank you holy ghost that these people have heard this word and their life will never be the same i call their physical bodies quickened by the eternal life and the perfection that's in those words and things old sicknesses old things are falling away and leaving for they cannot stay in the presence of the eternal living god the holy ghost who you walk with in the earth we thank you holy ghost for it in jesus name amen, amen. if you have a tithe or an offering hold it in your hand say this after me holy ghost you are the living god you quicken me according to your word you quicken my finances according to your word i give and it's given unto me good measure pressed down shaken together running over do men give into my bosom with the same measure that i meet it's multiplied back to me i worship you holy ghost in jesus name Amen. Ghost, your God, near. 